Right after we check the oil level, you can come up, check your engine oil cooler outlet. Come up to the your air inlet bypass door. It's on the right side of the aircraft, right near, uh, right near the tail, or right near the aft portion of this cowling. This one doesn't have, it's usually secured, I just opened a little while ago. A little latch, push the door open. This is your alternate source of fresh air for your turbine. Come on in. You can see you can look around a little inspection panel ground wire here's your static source coming off the back right in the very center of that cowling so you're looking down here's your push-pull tube that comes down way off from up top push-pull to or your tail rotor push-pull tube this is your uh, support and that shaft that's your tail rotor drive shaft going through that little tubing down lower Way down there, that would be your uh, uh, your inlet for your turbine compressor. This does not have a particle separator on it, but you can see um, there's still a screen that filters some out the debris here. See some straw. I need to clean this out. I just they they just used it over the weekend and they used it in a pretty dirty place. So I gotta clean all this stuff out now. You can actually see up. That's outside right there. That's through the screen. You can see the main order mast. All this fresh air gets sucked from the front, right near the mast, in through here, down into the turbine. So coming out of here, make sure this door is not latches nice and make sure the door latches properly. Okay, not going anywhere now. So now we're done. I shut that door. We're done with the right side except for the rotor head and the turbine. I like to do the rotor head and the turbine itself last. That way I can get everything else done. Alright, so here we are, the inside of this MD500C model. Starting from the top, we have our engine anti-ice. Make sure that's off. Coming down, here's your lights, uh, spots to hang your headsets. Check the condition of the glass on the inside. Uh, working our way down here, we're going to turn the night mode on. This is where the attachment pins for the rear doors are. The right rear door, here's the upper pin. And coming down, right next to the co-pilot seat, is the bottom pin. So coming back away from that, now we know that door is not going to go anywhere in flight. We're going to check the conditions of these belts. You're going to give them a, a nice a solid yank. Make sure the inertia lock works. Belts look nice, clean, new. They are new. Um, properly installed, bolted in there in the bottom. Coming down from the cyclic, you've got two pins that hold this cyclic in place. This is the removable dual controls. There's pin number one, and here's pin number two, which you can pull out on this. And also a connector down there you can pull out, and that would uh, unhook your radios and. Uh, your trim motors. This is your trim knob, by the way. Coming up from that, come over. This is your dual controls for your uh, your collective. We're gonna test those controls out, but just check down into where these do attach. Make sure there's no uh, no bird's nest or you know nothing that's accidentally fallen down in there that may cause some binding. It's the last thing you want right now, so everything's looking good. Here's the right set of anti-torque pedals. You can see these cotter pins you can take out and you can adjust the pedals uh, depending on how short or tall you are. So make sure those cotter pins, if the pedals are installed, make sure those cotter pins are installed as well. Starting at the pedals on the right side, you can come over to the column along the door. This, so you, these are the, this is the bottom pin for the right door. Make sure that's all the way down. Coming up. Here's your top pin. Make sure that's all the way up. There's the pin right there. Um, if these pins do come out, there's a good chance of this door flying off. So you definitely want to make sure those pins are all the way installed. Alright, so come, continuing on our right side. Cyclic. See these little two plugs? That is where your APU would hook up, your auxiliary power unit. Um, a lot of the times you'll have these hook up to you. So that way you don't have to... Uh, drain your battery on startup. So that's a, a valuable tool. Uh, make sure those are hooked up properly. So down with the front door area, we're going to move here to the back. 
open this door it's pretty complex push down open her on up we've already checked the attachment points for the back right door nice handle you can grab on when you are trying to get up into this thing here's uh, your sight glass for the main order gearbox transmission fluid so walking down the right side of the tail boom checking all the uh, all the rivets once again make sure all the inspection panels this is a patch make sure all the rivets aren't coming out of that patch or any of the rivets there's no damage at all allowed on this tail boom otherwise it needs to get replaced or inspected so walking down the tail boom place your hands on the top and bottom you just run your hands all the way down you can also get a good glare going down the side of this tail boom see if there's any dings or uh, especially any dents nice little danger sticker there Let's inspect this bad boy. Alright, so here we have your lower portion of the vertical stabilizer. It attaches right here. It's got two bolts. One right there that goes all the way through and the other one that goes from right there onto this back side. You're checking to make sure it's not bent. There's no big dings in the leading edge. All the way down and check the stinger. Now I will say that the stinger has gotten a little damage. Um, Let's see what happened to it. That wasn't me, by the way. I don't get to fly this thing very often. So coming up there, make sure there's no dings, corrosion, cracks. Ground wires properly installed. Wiring harness. Nothing's going to get snagged on anything. Here's your attachment bolt. And the nut is on this side. Attachment, one of the attachment bolts for the horizontal stabilizer. There's one bolt there. And the other bolt for the horizontal stabilizer is right by the push sticker, right there. Torque stripe, shows that nothing has moved. Coming across, this is your horizontal stabilizer. Even though it's going up, it's still going out. So that's why they call it the horizontal stabilizer. Check for any damage. You know the works. You know, you know what to look for. Dings, nicks, cracks, corrosion. Rivets coming out, you name it. If it doesn't look like it should be there, it probably shouldn't. So on top of the horizontal stabilizer is this stabilizer bar that goes between the horizontal and the vertical stabilizer. So you want to make sure, again, safety wires on there. Nothing's moving. Everything's nice and tight, especially around the attachment points on this uh, stabilizer here. Walk yourself up this bar. Make sure there's no dings and inspect the vertical stabilizer. Leading edge all nice and nice and smooth. Here's your attachment bolts for your or your vertical stabilizer. Another attachment bolt. Notice the torque stripes right there. Let's go look at the other side. Another attachment bolt right there with the torque stripe. Coming on down, check the check out the safety wire, the attachment bolts for the tail rotor gearbox to the actual tail boom. Here's your tail boom. Over to gearbox. Notice safety wires on there, nice and tight. Come around here, checking for leaks. Safety wires on the back cover of this gearbox. Check the fluid level. It's a little high. We may have them drain out just a little bit here. Rather be right in the middle than than too much. You can still see a bubble though. So here's your cover for the tail rotor gearbox. Wiring harness, check to make sure that's all properly secured. Here's your position light and your strobe light. It's kind of cool, we may show that here in a little bit. So here's your tail rotor gearbox chip detector. It's a, it's a magnet which attracts any loose metal particles in the gearbox. Tracks it down to the magnet where it makes contact, completes the circuit, and it sends off your tail rotor chip, chip light on your dash. Notice your attachment, safety wire, bolt, Tor torque stripe is installed. Another attachment bolt there. Um, this is your push pull tube that we looked at earlier. It's coming out of the tail boom here. Here's your rod end. You want to make check for uh, uh, make sure the the rod end can make sure it can twist, but it can't go up and down or laterally. Um, the MD they use a lot of castle nuts with uh, cotter pins. 